63 light years from Earth. We've discovered a planet. It's even larger than Jupiter. And it has a serious problem. Its orbit is incredibly tight. It's closer to its star than Mercury is to our sun. And 30 times closer in than the Earth. The result is a superheated hell. But there's another reason why nothing could survive here. And that's the ferocious wind. The surface is battered by a never-ending storm. We can't see these winds with our telescopes. But we know the superstorm exists. Because of this, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Spitzer can see things that we can't. It doesn't use visible light. Instead, it sees an infrared. It's a part of the light spectrum we don't see with our eyes. Infrared is heat. One advantage of studying the universe in the infrared is it gives us this opportunity to see the light coming from planets around other stars. When you try to look at the light of a planet next to the light of a star, the star is hundreds of thousands of times brighter than that planet, which renders the planet very, very faint. But if we push into the infrared part of the spectrum, the internal heat of the planet, just as my internal heat, causes the planet to glow. Now it's observable and measurable. Spitzer gives us something completely new. The very first weather map of a planet beyond our solar system. This simple image is a technological triumph. The colors represent temperature differences. But the map also proves the planet has hellish winds. That's because the hot spot isn't where it should be. One side of the planet permanently faces the star, so its center should be the hottest point on the planet. It isn't. Something pushes the planet's hot spot to the side. And that takes incredible force. Only a non-stop 6,000 mile an hour hurricane could be this powerful. Twenty times stronger than the strongest winds on Earth eight times the speed of sound. A small shift on a weather map. Evidence of supersonic winds raging on an alien planet. Truly a planet from hell. <laughs> 